So let's start with the commands of Unix. We are using an Ubuntu system and which has been installed on a virtual machine of Oracle VM box. In the first lecture of Linux, we have already seen certain basics of Linux, what is Linux and how Linux is different from Windows. So let's start with the commands of Linux prompt. This is the prompt which we see on the Linux system when we start the terminal of an Ubuntu. So we'll be writing the commands over here and seeing that how we can use the Linux. So to begin with first command we are seeing is ls. This is a command which lists the directories and the files in the current directory. It lists the current files and directories and shows the list to us. For example, if I write ls over here and I list it like this, so it will list the different directories which are there in this current directory. The names which are written in blue color, they are the names of the directories and the names which are written in white color, they represent the files. For example, for every command there are different options and to understand for any command there is a command which is known as man. So man command is an help for a particular command. For example, if I write man ls, it will open the help file for the ls command which I said that it is a list command and it gives different details of the man command and we can keep on going below and see what are the different options which are available and when we wish to quit from this man command we simply press Q and we quit from it. Each command in Linux is having different options and those options are represented by using a minus sign and then putting that option word. For example, that ls is used to list the directories and if I root write ls minus l, it will list the directories along with the timestamp when it has been created, along with the user, along with the directory, along with the date. So ls minus l gives that there are total 84 directories in file and these are the permissions which has been given to it, read, write, read, write, read, write and D stands for directory, the blank stands for that it is a file and this is read permission, write permission, read permission, write permission and uh, it, who is the user, where is the, the path and the timestamp that when it has been created and the name of the directory. So this is how we can use different options. To learn more options for a particular command, what we suggest is that it is not possible to cover it in a class or in a course. We will be seeing the commands, various commands of Linux in the complete course and to learn about different options, try this man command which is a very beautiful command which has been given in the Linux which tells about the details of that command. Now to clear the screen like the screen is looking very uh, bulky now, so we can clear it by using the command clear. So three commands which we have seen up till now is man command, clear command and ls command man command is in help file, clear command is used to clear the screen and ls command is used to list the directories and the files in the current directory. Now to know that in which current directory you are, we use the command pwd present working directory. So if I use this present working directory it will show that I am in home myank and myank is my user and myank is the directory under which we are working at present. To change the directory, the command which is used is known as cd. But before we change the directory, let us try a command which is known as mkdir. mkdir is a command which is used to make a directory. So to make a directory, we use a command make direct mkdir and let's say that we give the name of the directory let's say test with the capital 
test you know so mkdir test so it will create a directory test with capital t now to see that whether it has been created or not we use a command ls and we check that what a test is created you see test make directory test now if i again put the same command mkdir test what shall happen means i am again creating a directory in the same path with the same name what will happen it says that the file already exists you cannot create it okay so make directory is a command which is used to create a directory now cd is a command which is used to change the directory it can be used in n number of ways to start with let's say that i wish to go into the directory test so i will write cd test now see the path changes to test the path changes to test if i check the path over here the present working directory it will say that home myank test so where you are the current directory is in the myank directory in windows we used to call it folders over here linux is complete directory structure so we call it as a directory and you are in test directory any time to return to your user directory you can just write cd and you will return back to your user directory now there are different options for cd which we will be seeing afterwards that what are different options for this cd how we can play with change directory and all so now to revise a little bit we have seen the commands man command ls command make directory and change directory these are the four commands which we have started with basics of linux command let's see another command which is known as a cat command cat command is a command which is used to create a file this is a basic utility we can say this is a basic utility which creates a file now how do we do it we write a cat command and then after writing a cat command we put this symbol which is a greater than symbol and this is a redirection symbol which is redirecting the contents into the file and then we give the name of the file so let's give the name of the file as f1 so cat command redirection symbol and f1 what will happen it will create a file and it will wait for r inputs to write something into the file so it is waiting for r input to write hi how are you then i'll be right welcome to this linux course after writing this if we wish to exit and save the file what we have to press is we have to press control d so what i am doing now is i am pressing control d and when i press control d i come out from the file and the file is saved you see the prompt is visible and let me clear it so if i list now you will see that a file f1 has been created now to view the contents of this file to view the contents of this file we simply write cat and name of the file and the contents are visible you see the contents are visible for the file the contents are visible for the file okay so this is how we create a file and we can see what are the contents of the file now a very strange thing happens suppose i write cat asterisk f1 again and this time i write i am fine and i enter it and i do a control d i come back to the cursor so the same file i have created and i have written i am fine so will it be appended into the file or the contents would be overwritten so what happens that if i am using the same file name and using the same operator it does not give an error that the file already exists it overrides the contents of the file so if i see cat f1 you see it will say i am fine so what is happening it is overwriting the contents to to write the contents we put an redirection greater than symbol and to view we do not put that symbol but if you want to append something into the file and you do not wish to overwrite so for it we use this double greater than symbol you know and then we write f1 cat double greater than f1 and over here we can append it 
like the appendix welcome to linux 2021 and then we enter and then control d so that it appears on the next line and now if i see the contents of the file get f1 you can see that it has appended into it means instead of overwriting it it has appended into it so for append we have used this symbol so quick revision we have seen a man command which is used to help we have used a ls command which is used to list the directories a make directory which is used to create directories change directory to create change the path and cat command for creating a file and viewing a file with the symbol we create a file with contents with double greater than sign we append the file so these were some of the commands we have seen in to begin with the linux commands we will be seeing more commands of linux in the next video thank you